Hey folks, welcome to Mogra Floss. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Arnold 6 for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 12 hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Arnold for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. Also, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Finally, let's create a metal shader. So, create a new standard surface. Rename it to gold and assign it to the shader ball and open it up. In the second lesson of this section, we talked about metalness and how to create metal shaders. In this case, increase the metalness to one and use the gold preset to get started. Immediately, let's work on the specular roughness. I'm going to add an image node and load this map that is called Metal Roughness and set the color space to Utility Raw. Add a RAM float node after it and connect the RAM float to the Specular Roughness input. You see the result is a bit too rough. So in the RAM float node, make the brighter parts of the texture that cause that roughness to be a bit darker, maybe from one to around 0.4. So imagine basically if you decrease the roughness value itself from one to 0.4, it would make the overall shader much sharper. And now we are basically doing the same thing by making the brighter values quite darker. Therefore, the overall shader will be much sharper. I'm also going to select the texture itself and set its scale to 2 and 2. Let's quickly add a bump 2D node. Set the bump height to something very low, like around 0 0.008 centimeters. Use the same texture as the bump map input and connect the bump 2D node to the normal input of the shader. We can copy the noise bump mapping from one of the previous shaders. And connect the output of the bump 2D node to the normal input of our existing bump 2D node. And this is a very quick metal shader. Let me show you the final render. If you want to change the whole feel and look of the shader, simply change the texture that controls both the specular roughness and bump mapping. And this will give you a totally different result. Let's quickly create a copper shader as well. Simply duplicate the gold shader and rename it to copper and assign it. And in the standard surface shader, change the preset from gold to copper. And that's it. You can change the base color, maybe add a bit more saturation to make it a redder copper, but that's good for now. And let me show you a high resolution render for this shader as well. So that's how you approach creating different shaders in Arnold in their simplest form. Obviously, these can get much, much more complex than this. But now you have a very, very good foundation to build upon. It's a very simple approach. Specular roughness is the key to everything and you build around it. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Vray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.